Hey, what's up guys? It's the final round and my name is Jordan. This is a channel where the episodes come out the day before the lines drop. Uh, consider this channel a, a resource uh, before the props come out. I do a research on my own. I condense it into a video to try to help you with your props uh, the next day. Uh, so you'll probably be watching this on Sunday. If you do want to talk about the lines, I have a Discord. The link is in the description. You don't have to pay for it or anything. It's free. And uh, there's discussion that goes on all day long about the lines and uh, people take their research and they can bring it all together, different perspectives. And uh, we try to make the, bl the best plays that, that we can. And I don't charge uh, for any of this. I don't have a Patreon or anything like that. I'm not hiding any pics from you guys. I don't think you should pay for, for any of that. It's, uh, it's like paying for something that you don't know if it's going to work or not. Uh, so. Uh, you get everything that I find, and if you do well with information and you feel like giving back, I have a Cash App and a Venmo in the description. And uh, thank you to all the people who have donated. It helps keep me motivated to keep this going. Um, I've done, what, three months now, and uh, we're, we're getting closer to the end of the NBA season, uh, which I did want to ask you guys as we approach opening day. Um, I have talked to Austin from Calling Our Shot about his favorite resources for baseball but if you guys have any additional resources for baseball uh, let me know in the comments and uh, i'll try to look those up to see if if those will be helpful uh, for for future videos so if you can please like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, like 50 percent of you guys who watch the channel have not pressed the sub subscribe button so lightly press that subscribe button for me and and the uh, the like button for me do not smash the like or the sub because you will break your phone or tv if you have a little extra time can you leave a comment for the algorithm it helps get the video out there and it tells youtube that hey maybe this video should be viewed and it sends it to more people and then they comment and so on and so on and i would appreciate that and thank you for the people who do comment so I did want to plug a friend of mine. He has a YouTube channel for sports cards. So if you're into sports cards, um, can you subscribe to Sports Card Investigator? He used to work for the DEA and he's into sports cards. He just recently did a really good video on the Philadelphia Card Show. And before we get into the picks, I'm partnered with an app called Jock Market. Uh, they do player props and they also do trading players like stocks. Use promo code FINALROUND11 and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. So if you want a free $100, uh, sign up with Jock Market. So I have nine picks for you guys. Uh, sorry, I didn't go up to 10. My piece of paper got down to nine and I didn't want to flip it and just put a 10th one on another piece of paper. Uh, so first pick is going to be Darius Garland up against the Rockets. Uh, this looks like a blowout potential, um, but uh, there's first half props. Uh, the Rockets give up the most points and the 10th most assists to the point guard position. And Darius Garland over his last 10 games is averaging 21 points, seven and a half assists. So check out his props and see if they come close to his averages. He's got a good spot. Um, second pick is going to be Donovan Mitchell up against the Rockets. They give up the second most points and the ninth most assists to the shooting guard position. Uh, and over his last 10 games, he's averaging 29 points, five rebounds, and 3.2 assists. Uh, so if you do think it's a blowout, a guy who's going to get a lot of minutes is going to be Karis Lover. I mentioned him before. Uh, I did mention Donovan Mitchell. He's, Karis Levert's going to be playing shooting guard as well. Uh, if it goes to a blowout, Karis Levert's probably going to get some more minutes. Uh, so check his lines as well as Donovan Mitchell. Uh, third pick's going to be Jalen Brown up against the Spurs. I see Jason Tatum is questionable to play tomorrow. Uh, it's probably because they're comfortably in a playoff spot. They got the Spurs. They could probably win this one without him. And the Spurs are giving up the seventh most points and the second most assists to the shooting guard position. And Jalen Brown, over his last 10 games, is averaging 28 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 4.2 assists. So check his lines, especially if Jason Tatum is out. Uh, fourth pick is going to be Window Carter Jr., up against the Nets. The Nets give up the fifth most points and the most rebounds to the center position. And Wendell has been playing pretty well recently, especially with scoring. 
Um, and he's a good rebounder. Over his last 10 games, he's averaging 17 and a half points and nine and a half rebounds. So check those lines. Uh, I think I, the last rebound line I saw for him was eight and a half. Uh, good spot for him to rebound. Uh, fifth pick. I know a lot of people don't like this guy uh, because he's been inconsistent, but I'm going to mention him because he has a good matchup. So Josh Giddy against the Blazers. The Blazers give up the second most points and the sixth most assists to the shooting guard position. And Giddy over his last 10 games is averaging 16 and a half points, 8.8 .8 rebounds. Just want to throw that in there because he just had a huge rebounding game the other day and six and a half assists. Now I'm going to tell you personally, I'd like his points, his assists, his game it, it depends on where the line is at if it's at five and a half then maybe uh, but he has games where he has tons of assists and then he has games where he doesn't have many at all uh, so his average kind of just meets in the middle and it's inconsistent a uh, six picks gonna be Cole Anthony who comes off the bench for the magic playing the shooting guard position uh, the Nets give up the fifth most points to the shooting guard position and Anthony over his last 10 game is averaging 15 points a game he comes off the bench uh, with Jalen Suggs as the point guard and he's been hot lately I think he just had 17 in his last game so check out for his lines for the points prop seventh pick Triple J Jaron Jackson Jr. Uh, playing against the Hawks to give up the most points and the third most three-pointers made to the power forward position and Triple J is averaging 23 and a half points He's making one and a half three-pointers a game. So um, as John Morant still gets acclimated, uh, Triple J has really stepped up with scoring. So this is another great spot. And I did want to mention on December 12th, he played 24 minutes against the Hawks. He scored 15 points in 24 minutes. And he also had eight blocks against the Hawks. So if you want to look at fantasy score, um, He's, he's great at getting blocks, and he got eight of them last time he played these guys. Uh, eighth pick is going to be Anthony Davis up against the Bulls. The Bulls give up the 10th most points to the center position, and the Lakers need wins to stay in the play-in game uh, for when LeBron comes back. Anthony Davis is going to have to carry this team in scoring. Over his last 10 games, he's averaging 27 points. Um, I expect his line to be up near 30. He needs to score for them to win. So uh, I like Anthony Davis up against the Bulls. And ninth pick, another team that really needs wins to stay in the playoff picture is the Warriors. Steph Curry has the Timberwolves, and they give up the fifth most points to the point guard position and the fourth most rebounds. And Steph Curry over his last 10 games is averaging 30 and a half points and 6.2 rebounds, which actually kind of surprised me. He, he's a good rebounder. So check those lines. So that's my nine picks. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, it's I definitely needed a Friday off. Uh, I know the season's getting shorter, and uh, I'm, I did mention baseball, and uh, I, I would like to get into it. Probably won't be doing it opening day uh, because I want some statistics to accumulate. Uh, and because teams, you know, they did things in the off season. There's going to be new lineups. Um, pitchers are still pitchers, but they're getting older. Some are getting better. Uh, so I just want to get a few weeks of data uh, to accumulate and then I'll be dropping baseball uh, episodes. It might be a little shaky at first because I'm be gathering different resources and whatnot and we'll see where that goes. Uh, but I definitely plan on doing baseball. It's going to be a long season, 162 games each, but uh, uh, let's give it a try. So. Uh, God bless you all. It's the final round. My name is Jordan. Catch you on the next one. Bye.